referee checking with both goalkeepers that they are ready. Conway to Joe Rowley turns his man well Rowley is dispossessed though on the edge of the box and York will bring it clear but terrific work from Max Conway to win it back who's the bashy on the edge of the boxes taken off it it's back with Nelson Kumbeni though Kumbeni gives it to Horton Horton with the shot dipping and it's over the bar but a really fast bright start again from the coast which has been the case National League as of yet it's with Akin Yemi for York City turns Harry Davis plays a crossfield ball looking for McLaughlin on the far side McLaughlin takes it down and will play it in front of him to Kennedy who's forced back a little bit by Sam Graham back to Alex Woodyard Woodyard will clip it towards the back post looking for Fallowfield Fallowfield inside the box and it's picked up and into the back of the net it's the number 20 Scott Burgess who's got the goal but York City had the lead after five and a half minutes here at Mill Farm AFC filed nil York City won It was a little bit too easy that for the coasters that conceded. It was the crossfield ball from Woodyard. Found Ryan Fallowfield at the back post who hits it on the half volley across the face of goal. And there was Scott Burgess on the half volley to put it into the back of the net past Theo Richardson. And York City lead after five and a half minutes here. Will now allow play to continue. Horton will take the corner over on the far side. Put in towards the back of the area by Joe Rowley flicked on Harry Davis with the header overhead kick from Danny White and he's over the bar acrobatic effort from the coasters number 23 back in his goalkeeper sacked Kenworthy Graham with the header it's headed clear though by Will Smith come Benny takes it in his stride he's brought down by Akinyemi but fairly says the referee Green will bring it forward for York through to Akinyemi, edge of the box, up against Sam Graham. Akinyemi takes it, takes it on. Akinyemi across now, and it's 2-0. York City double their lead. It's a smash and grab here at Mill Farm. And it looks as though it's Scott Burgess again. The right man in the right place. In fact, it was Ryan Fallowfield, the captain, who's got the goal. It's been a smash and grab here at Mill Farm. AFC fouled on top for the vast majority of this game. York City has struggled to get inside the coasters half at times, but they lead by two goals to nil. <laughs> to Harry Davis. Davis across to Richardson. Richardson now across to Barrett. Barrett will play it inside to Kumbeni. Kumbeni through the middle looking for Max Conway's beating the offside trap here Conway plays it towards the back post Joe Rowley with the header over the top just really good chance there for the coast a splitting ball down across now for Conway Conway gives it to Ustabashi tries to turn Fallowfield but Fallowfield read it all the way and the York captain will bring it forward now out to the left for Burgess back to Fallowfield now tries to put the ball across there Woodyard over the top that was a big big chance for the visitors multiple players inside the centre circle when taking the kick off right hand side Barrett through the middle looking for anyone inside or in the edge of the box and in the end Woodyard brings it forward for York he's challenged though and Graham wins it back for Fylde now to Danny Whitehead Whitehead looking for options wide. He's going to try and find Horton on the left. Finds him and now Horton will look to try and play it across again to Danny Whitehead. Now Whitehead will go for the shot and it's just over the bar. It was dipping and Slats Kenworthy was confident but it was only just over the bar. It's Barnett. Glynn brings it forward for Fylde, tries to play it into the path of Legenza, it's fallen nicely for Sia Legenza after a, a bit of a ricochet he's got Glenn on the outside if he needs him, Legenza on the edge of the box, will try and get the shot away it's come off, surely it'd come off Woodyard there, as a deflection but it's not given Conway short to Nick Horton Conway 
into the box now. Good challenge. Forced to Kumbeni. And it's always curling away from the right-hand post. But good sustained pressure from the coasters. It's out for a foul throw. Richardson across to Harry Davis. Davis will look for Max Conway in front of him. Can't find him. In fact, does find him at the second time of asking. Across for Sam Graham. Now for Connor Barrett. Mr. Bashi in front of him. Finds him and will run at the York City defence. Now for Kieran Glynn. To Nelson Kumbeni. Horton to Kumbeni again. Now for Conway down the left-hand side. Plays it short to Horton. Horton to Kumbeni. Now for Barrett. Filed again. Just remaining patient, but York committing bodies back and frustrating them at the back. Running into a, a navy blue wall at the moment, and Glynn rides the challenge from McLaughlin. Barrett now to Ustabashi as file commit a few more inside the box. Barrett goes short to Horton. Horton will take the shot and it's dragged wide. That will be that at the Technic Stadium. Chesterfield 3, Barnet 0 now. With Back to Graham again. Now across for Richardson. Now to Harry Davis. Davis to Conway. Now to Nick Horton. Horton turns past his man, plays it to Harry Davis, and he can only pass it straight to Scott Burgess. And York again just clearing their lines, frustrating the coasters. Graham plays it to Kumbeni. Glenn now flips it over to Conway down the left. Conway will keep it in play. Towards the back post, Ustabashi with the header. And it's tipped back by Sykes Kenworthy. It looks as though he always had it covered.